have a little bit of makeup on, but no mascara, so... Yep, <laughs> I don't put on makeup every day. I just make myself a cup of hot chocolate. Mmm. And, so, last Friday I made a pumpkin crumble. You can see it on my vlog. Um, the recipe is by my friend Bin from Rebellious Kitchen and I, I'll link the recipe here again below. I also did in my last, in my uh, Friday vlog. But, so, oh, I had to buy some specific spices for that. Um, like cookie cookie spices um, we use them for December treats a lot but um, um, anyway it's also really really good on hot chocolate and whipped cream and really good anyway today I am working on my fox plushie because I want to reveal it tomorrow. <laughs> I know, always super, super organized. This is him so far. Him, her, I don't know. Him, probably. I've made the ears too. See, I even made a little line that I think foxes have. There's the other ear. So, um... Yeah, so I'll have to um, write up the pattern for what I've done so far, and then I can continue, because now I can still kind of like read back into what I've done. Um, I have written down some notes, but I just need to write down the pattern for what I've done so far, and then I can continue, because otherwise I might not be able to uh, read my work and see what I've done. So. It's like a puppet show. Um, and then I will attach the ears, I will stuff him, and then um, attach his tail. There. Um, so cute! Um, and attach, and sew this closed, and then attach the feet, which I still have to make. I think that's the only thing I still have to make. And then... Maybe I'll do like a bow tie or something out of the pink. See, I'm using my new project bag by Girl and Bird. It's got a map of Europe on it. But you can request any kind of map that you like. So I thought this was really fun. And there's a pocket here and I... Um, use it for my crochet hook and my pair of Japanese scissors and the inside is mustard so pretty so I have all of my supplies in here and I think I'm gonna use this color so this is Escape Use Katona Katona and this escape use furry tails. Super soft. Um, I think I'm gonna use this color for the bow tie. I think that would be really cute. I still need a name though. Um, I'm making this part of kind of the same series as my sleeping reindeer, which was in yarn book is in folk issue and she didn't have a name uh, the pattern is called sleeping reindeer uh, although I know one of the um, one of the people who made it called her dear Geraldine which I love um, so I don't know if I should come up with a name for him or also uh, a name in the same um, vibe as sleeping reindeer so this could be 
Sly Fox. Um, yeah, I kind of want him to be named though. Yes, so uh, I'll think about that some more. And yeah, I'll finish this uh, by the end of the day. And then uh, I need to get some pictures done so I can prepare my blog post for tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow you'll see this cutie up on my website. And then the Thursday after, uh, the pattern will go live. So um, yeah, so another week from now. my overhead light on but you know it's <laughs> it's way too dark to uh, to record tutorial videos so I was working on some tutorial videos for this color work hat the videos will be out on my patreon page Patreon, Patreon page soon. Um, they will be part of my Colorwork Confidence Masterclass, and these videos will be available for the elder tier. So, fun fact: my Patreon tier names all come from Harry Potter wand um, wand woods. So there's uh, Birch, Rosewood, Willow, and Elder, and of course the Elder Wand is the most powerful one, so I chose to um, name it my highest tier, the elder um, elder tier. So um, yeah, I am just working on the first color work segment. You can't really see it now. You can see it better here. Uh, so I am making some videos for that, um, but of course I have to knit in between videos so uh, I'm just knitting until the next section and I'll film that tomorrow I guess <laughs> seriously I have started these tutorial videos I think last week and um, I just I get to do a little bit each day because the light is just so bad in winter time but um, I still wanted to do it so yeah then I'll put on an overall headlight uh, the colors won't be as great, but, um, you know, done is better than perfect, right? I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to be less of a perfectionist. So, yeah, so I'm just uh, working on this and uh, I'm going to uh, finish writing up the pattern for the Fox plushie. And then I'll call it a day. Yep. Okay.